What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video on today Dunks may have possibly got his Travis Scott Black Phantoms stolen. So stay tuned all right man i'm back with another video man before i get too deep into this video y'all already know what to do go and hit that like button it really helps the channel out and if you know consider subscribing i make content about sneakers all right so let's dive in today's video. That's right, man. I'm back with like a story time video that you guys probably almost don't even want to believe, man. Y'all see the title and y'all see the thumbnail right now, man. Dunks literally had me on the edge of my seat when I shipped his Travis Scott Black Phantoms, right? Now, if you haven't been living under a rock or if you haven't checked out yesterday's video, pretty much I won on these sneakers at the Black Travis Scott Phantoms for Dunks. You know, pretty much the lives that we do, the sold out lives that happen every Wednesday and Saturday eventually coming on Monday shameless plug and if y'all haven't signed up for the discord it's the sold out discord but neither here nor there man back to this short time like story video dunks is gonna tell you his side on the live tomorrow night right okay at 7 p.m. Eastern time but this is from the things from my point of view and so much so me and dunks almost literally kind of lost it with each other but I kind of know dunks with like the I know dunks like the back of my hand right okay but anyway Long story short, I won the sneakers for Dunks pretty much. I know he was really excited about this sneaker. So I hurried up, filmed the video, shipped it out to him, right? Okay, here's the thing. If you haven't been living under a rock, Dunks has literally been moving, right? Okay, so I, I offered this to Dunks. This is all from my point of view. I'm gonna get, I want Dunks, I want Dunks to tell his side of the story, but pretty much I shipped the shoes to the address that Dunks requested, right? Okay, I also, before I even shipped it, I said, hey, I know you're moving. So, do you want me to hold them until you get situated at your new spot and then send me the address? Dunks was like, no. So he gave me an address pretty much that so he felt that it was a safe place to go. Pretty much, long story short, the shoes got there in three days. Said delivered, Dunks was excited. However, when they went to look for the package, it was not there, right? Okay, Dunks is literally answer frantic. He's not dunks literally reacts i'm usually kind of that more stay calm let's figure this situation out right okay so let's go down the rabbit hole of what happened right so dunk sends me a screenshot saying they're delivered he's excited but then pretty much the person that he feels is trustworthy says that hey the package is not there right okay i'm saying man are you sure double check he's like man somebody in fact when dunks texts me he didn't say that hey the package wasn't there. He just said, hey, somebody stole them. I'm like, what do you mean somebody stole them? I'm like, how do they even know? Now, I'll put this in mind. I was telling Dunks, he thought that maybe, I guess he was literally giving me no credit. Like, I, he made me feel like I pretty much wrapped a shoe all around and said, Travis Scott Phantoms or Dunks, you know what I'm saying, all around the box. Like, no, you ding dong, I'm not that slow. It was like, trust me, this box didn't scream anything sneaker wise and that's what i was trying to explain to dunks neither here nor there right okay but anyway dunks had no faith and i was like man you need to go over there and check for yourself but given the situation where dunks had just moved and their current like living situation and what they're pretty much in right now it wasn't just it was much easier said than done right okay anyway long story short Dunks went down the rabbit hole and found out that he actually had his shoes shipped to the wrong address, right? Okay, holy crap, man. And I will say this, this is the second time Dunks has done this, right? Okay, um, if you haven't recalled, and Dunks didn't share you share this with you guys, but I feel like I have to put this apart in the story. Dunks also hit on the Taxi Jordan 1s, and he put the wrong address in then. He puts... It's not like the address is completely wrong. It's like the front part of it, the numbers, the most important part, along with the, obviously your location. He has the street address right every single time, but the numbers is off. So long story short, the Phantoms went to the wrong address. Pretty much, I'm assuming from my point of view, it went to the neighbors or someone in the neighborhood, right? Okay, once Dunks kind of got quiet, keep in mind, we didn't re I, I was very slow responsive to dunks because i was kind of upset about the situation because think about it this shoe is what 160 dollars 170 dollars i can't remember what i paid for retail i want to say it was 160 dollars plus tax 
and it's going for over $600 on the resale market. So I'm like, somebody literally has $600 in their hand. And Dunks is literally has the most not so positive attitude about the situation, right? Okay, again, I'm keeping positive, trying to be, I know my, I know Dunks like the back of my hand, just like I said. So I'm telling them like, hang in there, we gonna figure it out. So Dunk, I guess, decided to do a little investigation on his end, just to find out that the address that he confirmed that I confirmed, I confirmed the address with Dunks, but once he double checked it, he realized that he had given me the wrong address. And I was like, holy crap. But like I said, it was a few doors down. Eventually, right, after going through the rigmarole, eventually they were able to get the Phantoms, right, okay. Man, what a stressful week slash holiday for me, right, okay? And I can only imagine from on Dunk's point of view, right? And I can't wait to get his side of the story, which I know it, but I don't, we haven't actually, me and, this has been holiday season, and I feel like, you know, we just both kind of been with families and stuff like that. We really haven't had a chance to sit back and just have the full conversation about it. Now, if you're in the Discord, you know that Dunk's has these shoes, but just know that, it was a little bit of a scare that it was gonna get there, right? Okay, I'm telling you, Dunks had me on the edge of my seat on this one, guys. So, definitely, I thought he may have been right that somebody stole these um, Trap Scott Phantoms, but I was like, this is impossible. This box did not scream shoes. But, at the same time, I know how things are in holiday season, but he made it seem like he had shipped it to the most safest, most, you know, nobody even thinks about this neighborhood or even think they would even get shoes over there, you know what I'm saying? But Anyway, neither here nor there. Salute to Dunks. I'm glad he got him in his hand and looks like he's um, finally happy with him. But I will say, man, for future shipping references, Dunks. I'm talking to Dunks on this one. Don't get mad when I ask you to when I ask you for your address like three different times just to make sure. Because usually I just do it two because I don't want to get on nobody's nerves. But long story short, we not gonna have this a third time, bro. This is like you you're knocking you you drop you dropping the ball for the kid, man. You you giving me a few extra gray hairs early that I really don't want, man. But yeah, that was it in a nutshell. I haven't had that experience yet because I usually try to verify my address to the best of my ability, which I think Dunkson did that. But I'll let you tell his I'll let him tell his side of the story of why it may have got possibly messed up. The reason it got to me messed up. It wasn't nothing, and I'm not trying to not take responsibility on my end, but I literally just shipped it to the information that he gave me. So literally it was wrong on his end first. But they have made it to the rightful owner and Dunks got him. He still got them in hand before Christmas. So that was my Christmas gift to Dunks for sure. Salutes to Dunks, man. And uh, anybody else that has got the Travis Scott Black Phantoms, man, y'all sound off in the comment section. Now I'm hearing the quality on them with the glue stains wasn't the best, but I looked at Dunks pair personally and they look perfect, right? Okay. I'm also going to see during the live, if he can just kind of show us in hand as well over the live and let us kind of get a good view of them even though i have a good view of them but i want you guys to get a good view because i know there's are some people that watch the lives and watch my videos that don't sign up for the discord that hasn't been a part of the discord so neither here nor there they are in the right owner but we thought these mugs were almost stolen man but that's a quick story time video for the kid um y'all sign off in the comment section how would you feel if you got your homie or someone close to you some very expensive sneakers on the aftermarket for retail just to realize they could have been possibly lost or stolen, man. Would y'all be on the edge of your seat or what? You know what I'm saying? Trust me. And I didn't even really have time to let it just sink in because I had, when I tell you I've been so freaking busy this holiday season, I had, it was sinking in, but I didn't even have time to really, I didn't, I didn't want to. I didn't want to uh, get into a battle with Dunks over something that I feel like we just had to remain calm and figure it out. And that's what I just told Dunks, and he knows those are my exact words, when we found out what had happened, right? Okay. But neither here nor there, man. Um, That's it for this video. Quick story time video. Haven't done one in a while, man. Y'all sign off in the comment section. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. Wow. And if you know, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones. And thank you for watching and I'm out.